Baranon, level 2 now. Welcome to level 2, Baranon. Electric, level 1 now. My man. All survivors. Praise that sun. Pray to meditation. King Cashew. Higher power. Tase is probably Jeez, where am I going with these guys? Sun Warrior. Okay. Um we're going to go Oh, one of them is closed today. What is Oh, he can't he can only pray to a higher power. Got it. We're going to get rid of that. You need some stress reduction. Pray to meditation. Meditation sounds pretty good for Varanon. Okay. Cashew. What can you do? Electric can go to either one of those. And Cashew can go to either one of those. King Cashew, Pleasures of the Flesh. Electric, gonna have some drinks. It's been a lot of money here. We don't have to do any of this right now if we don't want to, but I just want to get them in there. That's all. I can't do any more. Can't spend any more money. Party it up, baby. <gasps> Katase, man. You survived, you kicked ass. You almost had a heart attack, dude. You were on death's door. Oh no, you weren't. Uh, uh, Varana was on death's door. Um, but you were kicking ass out there, dude. You were kicking ass out there. You got banged up, but... You were a slaughterhouse. <laughs> that that multi-target attack that he has, the Celis accusation. So good. And really... Your your campfire abilities are super strong for us. That was a big, big help. We need to grind for some money, is what we need to do. We need to go find some more money. Le Ruins leveled up. So we don't... Can we sell items? H how does that work? Do, can, is that something that you can even do? Nomad wagon? Probably not. I don't think that you could sell items. I think you just find them. That I don't know. You could shop, you could buy them. Oh, really? I love it. <laughs> it benefits much more for Holy Lance, so go to your trinket inventory, shift click, and right click trinket. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could sell them for a lot. Yeah, I have some doubles here. So I can't sell everything. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to un... Oh, wait. Actually, I would have to unequip it. That's what's happening. I can't unequip stuff when they're in... Got it. So, they're all the people that I just put in for stress management. I can't sell any of their items because they have them equipped. Hey, that's pretty cool. At least I know I could sell them. Um, Bounty Hunter. I probably could sell more of this stuff. If minus four dodge, minus ten percent stress is pretty nice. I don't even have a jester. I could start selling some of this stuff, I guess, right? I don't know. I guess I'll keep the stuff that's not doubles, unless I really need the money. Although I don't think I'm ever gonna use the Stark Bracer. I'll take the fifteen hundred gold on that one. Uh, speed if health is below. Some of these items I can also apply. Oh, you you do? You can take the items off? What? Oh, wow. That is beautiful. You know, I'm just going to unequip all items. Screw it. I feel like it's always just better to do that at this point because I don't even remember what the heck I have. So we really want to just get rid of these, huh? Because that's actually not even good. 
The minus one speed. Bleed, minus, plus 50% bleed skill chance, but a minus one speed. That's pretty good. Minus four dodge. If you really go and bleed, I imagine. I feel like that might be a worthy trade-off. Appreciate the tips, guys. So this is plus 5% prop for one speed. Like that's probably something I could sell. 20% max hit points, much, much better. 10% stun skill chance. Again, with those skills, if you're really rocking those skills, I imagine that that's pretty good. <laughs> Prot zone is just money. <laughs> <laughs> Very rare item. Oh, look, another damage stone. Oh, 10% damage minus four dodge. I feel like these, these stones are really not worth very much. They're not really worth it. I don't know why. I feel like 10% damage is really not a lot on just flat skills like that. Like an, um, like flat, like 10% damage, 10% health. It doesn't seem like, to, it doesn't seem very much. Oh, go figure, <laughs> go figure. <sighs> Whoops. <laughs> the more you know. All right. Rare, accuracy, crit, and dodge. Round, numbers round to the nearest number, not to the nearest. Which, oh, wow, what, you think? See, that's a lot of the stuff about this game that I just don't know. And I probably don't know that I would look into unless I was told otherwise. I freaking love this game. And, uh... Guys, whoever's here, thank you so much. You know, all you lurkers out there, everyone's just chilling. I appreciate every one of you guys. So uh, whatever fashion, whatever form, whatever brought you here, the fact that you have us on, whatever device you're watching or listening on, even if you're not listening and not watching and I'm just tabbed out, whatever. In any case, any support, we appreciate the shit out of you. <laughs> so thank you. All right. Uh, what? Well, <sighs> Blight Amulet. 20% blight skill chance, 20% blight resist, minus percent bleed resist. That's pretty interesting. I'm really farming for money here. Crusader only, 20% st uh, stun skill chance, minus two dodge. We love us some stun. A rare, eight accuracy, five crit percentage, minus four dodge. Arbalist, that's pretty good. We like ourselves an Arbalist. Plus two speed, minus 20% move resistance. I'm kind of thinking this is my favorite, the Paralyzer's Crest. <laughs> yeah, who would tab out of his stream? Who wouldn't? <laughs> this is exactly how I feel. <laughs> Squirrel. I've been there. I'm glad my partner suggested you guys because it's an awesome channel. Thank you, Queen. Queen Freak. Thank you. We have a lot of fun. And again, if anyone is unfamiliar, I usually don't stream this late on Saturdays. Um, I actually don't blame a lot of you guys, even right now, which I, uh, I will, I will give a shout out to one of my favorite friends. If you guys want to take the next half hour, if you haven't seen this before, I know he's probably streaming right now, and I, I hate that I'm even missing it. But Talk Puppet to me is a phenomenal streamer. If you want to check out a puppet stream, he he does it 10 to 11 p.m. On Saturdays, I love that guy to death. Um, so I wouldn't blame you if you want to check him out. And then Chris is going to be streaming later tonight. So after my stream's over, uh, Chris, who's the other streamer on this channel, takes over for me. <clears throat> but he does a puppet show, talk puppet to me every Saturday night. Um, I'm usually there all the time, but I really wanted to play this game. So, all right, I'm going to go this way. Activate three infected corp corpses. It sounds like I'm going to be bringing items with me. Glided corpses may be strewn about the old road, teeming with filth and disease. Journey to
to and from the hamlet pose constant threat from sickness. Destroy this blight with a potent solve. Swag. Deeds. Uh, what do I have here in terms of deeds and crest? Is there anything that I wanted to upgrade? So let's go back to the hamlet real fast. I think that's where we're going to go. We're going to see if there's anything that I wanted to upgrade. I feel like I wanted to keep going with the, uh, the blacksmith here. Um, so I think that's what I was doing. I was looking for deeds. Reduce cost of weapons and armor upgrades. Allows armor upgrades to four, weapon upgrades to four. So I'm looking for crests, it looks like. I'm looking for deeds, I'm sorry. I'm looking for deeds and crests. So I believe I wanted to upgrade either the guild or the blacksmith. Was what I remember last. So I really, I, I'm not, I haven't really been looking for bus. I could probably do this now. Reduce the cost of training, but I'd rather do upgrades of four. So, we don't really need bus. We're looking for deeds, crests, and portraits. Okay, so there's really nothing I'm upgrading here. Let's go to embark. We'll see who we're taking with us. We're going to the wield. Uh, it says something about blight. A lot of blight. So I guess I want disease resistance. Which probably also means that I don't want to stack disease. Um, I need a healer. I'm kind of running low on heals. This is a level one long mission. Um, she is not doing terrible. Bond mom. The only other healer that I know that I have is Jossie D. So I can play it safe, take Jossie D with us and just have no problems in the world. Or possibly level up some Bondamom. So we'll, we'll just assume Bondamom's coming. Um, what is Ponty's going? What is going on with Ponty? She's hanging out with us tonight. Bleed, maybe? We'll, she's got some bleed. Forward. She's got some moving abilities. The breakthrough. Um, could do some movement kind of stuff. He's got bleed resist, blight, melee, melee. Thank you for the water. I actually haven't been doing that. I had some coffee and I forgot about that. I don't think I'm going to do that. That's, that's pretty expensive. Stack size, so three portraits, six boss, six deeds, 12 crests. That, that's kind of pricey. Uh, Simo, I don't, I don't think. Oh, uh, we have, we have C, C is still here. Uh, Simon's still alive, but. How's the graveyard looking? Uh, it's, that's, it's, it, there's got a lot of people in there. I don't know what's going on with Buckethead Gale. He's got a question mark here. I don't know what is going on with him. Is he just never going to come back? So if I put Ponty in and I throw Saber on, Saber has got some movement abilities. I can have Saber bounce backwards. I feel like Saber. Well, this is all Blight though. Hey, we don't want to go. We don't want to go with Saber if we're going to deal Blight damage. Flat's out. We can put Falcon on. What do you have? Another heal? Not opposed to this. Holy Lance. Which I can't even use in the front two rows. But this moves me forward. I'd have to get movement. I have a reason that you get pushed back. I don't know if I have anything that pushes people back. Camilla? Back two. There we go. Forward to, back to, stealth. Verse blighted, damage verse blighted. No, that's not our answer. I know he does blight damage. Hmm. What about Chungus? How's Chungus been? Protection, we have stun. We have buff target, dodge, minus stress, 
We have protection here. We have a f move forward one. I'm trying to think what we can put on here. Marked. A bleed. Open vein. Because, like, I want to put Ponty or somebody in there, but they all have, like, move forwards. And I, unless I have somebody who's moving backwards, it doesn't seem to be... I, I'm not really sure how to play those characters yet, is really what I'm thinking. Typing up D&D &D stuff. <laughs> have irony. That's exactly. So Holy Lance is meant to be done to push your Crusader back into a position. Got it. So like before when he got moved, we would have been fine. I know Chungus is doing good. Chungus, Chungus is a champ. I always, I always feel like I want to take somebody that's kind of high level. So let's just assume we're going to take Chungus. He'll be our like, our, our veteran warrior for this. What? Oh, he's beyond this. I've read that four times and never did anything about it. Is she beyond this? Wow. She also doesn't want to bother with petty distractions. All right, so we don't have any high-level warriors for this. So I guess we'll take Ponty and we'll figure it out. Ponty, you're gonna, you're coming with us. Whether, well, we do want you here. So we just couldn't figure out how to get you here. Is really the question. So Ponty's going in. We don't have a tank. Odin might be our tank, unless we put Sergio up in front. Bleed on Sergio. He doesn't move. But we'll have him we'll have him stack up in the front. Where is she gonna go? She can go into the back too. She has a mace bash, which is not very good, but. You'll be the meat shield. You want to go? We can go. Yeah, we can have you up front. What are you doing? Revenge. <clears throat> Self. 20% prot. Bleed resistance. Blight resistance. Debuff. Mark target. Oof. So we're, we're suggesting we take Sergio out. Word miss up front. We need a backline warrior here. We'll take Queen. Mark versus Marked. Knockback. A sidearm. Buff self speed. Buffing our speed is not, not the worst. We don't really have any any tough people except Ponty. Wurt's level one. A zero. Level one here. Level two. I would say I kind of want either a level one. We'll take Simo. Perfect. Simo's here. Simo's coming. What do you have? Bleed, bleed. So we have some bleed stuff. She does a little bleed. He does damage. He does bleed. He does extra damage versus marked. I don't have any way to mark. Does he, unless you mark. Oh crap. Now I don't have any way to mark people though. That's that's a downer. I mean, he wasn't really doing that much damage on the mark anyway. Let's be honest. Unless I put her there in the back and she lunges forward too. Actually, you know what? Moo, I think, is your solution. Because I'll put Moo all the way in the back. And then she can lunge forward too, which would push Ponty back. Which then would make Ponty be able to use her breakthrough. Oh, breakthrough she could do from the Oh, she's good here. She could do she could do it right where she is. Let's see. So if I put her here, then that's our solution. We can lunge forward. 
Damage versus blighted. I'm not blighting anybody. Yeah, so never mind. We're gonna go Simo. Although Cardinello could be an option. She can she can mark, but it's not Simo. It doesn't matter that about the mark. And also, we did say Queen. Damage versus mark and mark. Buff self. All right, so our, should we take Queen or should we take Simo? The Musketeer can mark, but the mark was only helpful if I had Simo in there. Although she could help herself with that. She can mark herself. Buckshot on the front row. Knock back. That could help. Pull those back end people forward. Mark 100%. Aim shot. Crit mod. Damage versus marked 50%. So you're suggesting we roll a d20? <laughs> Queen, you did it the right way. <laughs> the way that I would have done it. <laughs> All right, so that said, let's get to the blacksmith. We'll level up our homies. Who's coming with us? Uh, Ponty, you're coming with us. We level up your sword. Let's, I'm just gonna double check first that we don't want to level up Bonamom first. Wurt, I can't upgrade. She, I, I can't upgrade her either. So, yes, Ponty has to get upgraded because we need that damage. And now we're going to look into skills. Um, same kind of concept here. Let's look at our skills. I'm going to put her in first. We're going to definitely level up our heals. Heals up. I don't even need this melee bash. I might even take it out, but. Judgment, self, heal, three. Damage, minus 25%, self heal. That's pretty good. We want our stun, we love this. I can't increase the people that we're not going in there. Oops, I always do this. Um. That's her, this is her main attack, so we're definitely gonna upgrade that. Our Iron Swan, if she, we definitely can hit that backline fighter, we'll just upgrade everything. Screw it! Now we need items. Okay, so. Uh, he. Is doing. Baseline damage. Self, damage, 25% damage, 10% accuracy, crit, minus 10%, minus 10 dodge, plus 25% damage taken. Holy crap. I can do massive damage. So this, he doesn't do any specific type of damage. So, probably, I imagine, max health, healing received. Minus 10% stress. Plus 4 accuracy, minus 4 dodge. Accuracy might be helpful for him. No sun still chance. I'm not even doing that. Minus 10% stress. Uh, extra health might be helpful for him. Debuff skill chance. The resistances could be good. Extra bleed resists or more accuracy. This is the bleed resist. Uh, bleed skill chance. No, 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 no. And there's also this max hit points and minus 10% death blow resist. <laughs> Damage if below 33% health. Bleed skill chance. Alright, so we're gonna go bleed skill resistance. This will give us bleed, blight, and disease resist. That's great. Especially if he's the one that's gonna get hit. And you said give him some more accuracy. We want some accuracy. Shmam. Accuracy. 
She does some bleed. Regular damage. And debuff self. Um, a lot of setup here. Bonamom, we know it's going to be healing and no stunning right now. Wait, yep, we have a stun. So we want stun percent chance. And Wirt's already tricked out. Um, the Musketeer. She, Mark, 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 Mark. So I guess it's a debuff target. So we want to do something that increases the debuff. Uh, bleed resist. Bleed skill chance. Oh, this is, we wanted to sell this. So plus... 30% debuff skill chance, plus 30% debuff resist. Sure. Bleed skill chance. We'll leave the second item open. We'll give her the bleed skill chance. Increase that. But it's a minus one... The bleed skill chance would be really good on um on Simo's character where he where it bleeds multiple multiple people. Anything for healing. Stun skill chance. Minus ten percent chant uh minus ten percent stun. She's gonna heal herself. Leper's already a tank. I know, then a Helion. Oh, wait, do I have a Helion? I don't think. Just not the whole flesh slowing of the thing. Uh, it's no worse than the, than the, what's his name? The Sergio over here. <laughs> than the Flagellant. So bad. All right, I think I'm going to give one of these people one more item if it really makes sense. Um... I'm gonna give her some max hit points because she's kind of a frontliner. I don't want her taking much damage. And I'm gonna go maybe some re some stress reduction on these people. And then we'll just assume that maybe we'll get an item while we're in there. Oh, Ponte is a Helion. Oh, my bad. I forgot what that was called, actually. All right, let's do it. Let's get out there. It's a lot of prep to get in here. We're going to provision up. Uh, so, potent solve. Terribly strong. Alright, so we have a lot of quest items again, so we have to be cautious. We don't really need the bandages as much this time as we did last time. So, we're going to take two keys. It's a medium length. Two shovels. We did... We had just enough food last time, so I'm going to go a little bit more on the food. Um... I'm, I'm assuming I'm probably going to get blighted. So this is counter blights, poisons, and toxins. I'm going to take some anti-venoms here. We need a bunch of torches. We didn't even run out of torches. And she's going to increase torches. So I don't think I need more than that. Maybe uh, possibly another key. Another shovel. And we possibly take a holy water. I don't I don't know. I never know. We'll go. We already have two of this medicinal herbs. I think I'm good here, maybe. Bandits just to be case. Just to be uh just to be safe, I mean. Hearts of the dark. I could possibly take a holy water. I think I'm fine on food here. And I could take a little bit more just to be safe. They're pretty cheap. Round up to the four just in case. I don't know. I always get nervous about these. I don't want to just throw money away. I'm 
Alright, I'm, I'm done. I never know when to take these things. It's nerve. It makes me nervous. What to take? I want not to take. Glad to stay alive. Carrie, how are you doing tonight? Anyway, what's going on with you? Oh, you believe about the nerves? It's not easy. It's not easy at all. I do... It would be, um... So, like, I've been playing Slasher's Keep a lot lately. Um... The bungle tumors. Because it's just... The oh. You know what I didn't live. check? Because it's just, like, an easy game to jump in and out of. I've been really looking for a game that I can just kind of... Oh, man. I have no... I have no detect traps right now. That is bad. 40% chance on Helion. What is everyone's quirks? Light sensitive. May not meditate. Believes possessed by demons. Plus five dodge. Nice. Move resistance. Stress heal received in brothel. Okay, that's not. Plus 15% stress versus beasts. Oh my god, I hope we don't fight beasts and unholy. Stress versus unholy. Accuracy. Oh no! If we fight accuracy, if we fight beasts or unholy, we're screwed. Accuracy while bleeding. Let's not let's not let her bleed. Melee skills, of course, we're not even doing. She's in the back. Speed of torches above 75%. Damage versus beasts. Minus two percent. Minus two speed, minus five dodge. Uh-oh. Uh on the bottom right. Let's trap this arm. Oh, it's trapped this arm chance. I thought that that was it. <laughs> <laughs> Squirrel. Unfortunately, that is this game being played. Oh, how irritating is this? I have to go here now just so I don't accidentally have to freaking come back here later. What a nightmare. But you know what? We'll just get it out of the way. Yeah, this game, that is this game being played. Buckshot? Let's see how this fares. First blood. That's a good amount of damage. And then chop him up, baby. Of course you missed. Seventy-five percent on damage mod. Minus twenty-five percent on damage mod. Crit plus six. I don't need to increase the torch by six. It's really not that big of a deal. He only has two health, though, so that should kill him, even with that. Yep. Continually onslaught. Math. Destroy them all. Hmm, so what is the scouting chance? How is that determined? I can hit all three of them with push and push through right now. There's nobody in the back. Let's see what it does. Damn! Alright, so now I can... Default party order. What an opener. What is with you, dude? Accuracy, 75. That's why. Okay. We gotta... We have to bolster that somehow. I guess what we should be doing then is... To <laughs> just make sure I put my revenge on the first round. It's a lot of buffing, huh, with him? Pack has already been looted. Oh, it's random. Oh, so that's not that bad. I guess 40% could be worse. Okay. Fun. So this time, we're going to power him up first. Uh... We can mark. They're all the same. I don't know why I would do the buckshot. Like, what would be the point of buckshot? Just to increase my damage, I guess. I mean, I guess it's not the worst. That doesn't do enough damage. I'm finding. Um, There's all these beasts. Who is getting screwed by beasts? Damage on melee skills. 
I think her in the back was bad for beasts. 15% damage versus beasts. But she gets more stress from beasts. Okay. And then... Bup, bup, bup. It, it's, it's, it's you. 15% stress versus beasts. Minus 10% accuracy. Or minus 10 accuracy. Sorry, it's not 10%. We can break through. Damn! Oh, she's so powerful. Uh, just kill one of these guys? Yeah, we just want to get a kill, because it's probably just enough to kill him. Yeah, yeah. We learned that last time. Give them no quarter. Low accuracy versus high damage. Oh, she's got bleed now. One for five rounds. That's five damage. I should... Maybe I'll get rid of that. Damn, they're getting in on me. So, there are a lot of attacks for this, these two people. As the fiend Crushed. Faint hope blossoms. So, one for three rounds, or one... I guess I'll bandage you. I'll, I'll remove that so I can re not take that five damage. We'll put our party order back. Hello, Coco. What's going on, Coco Washi? Thanks for the tip. So low accuracy versus high damage. Got it. Blighted. Perfect. What a good start. I'm happy we went this way. So this is this is actually really good for us that we did go this way because this was all the way at the tail end. And this is just a straight run. So this is just gonna be fate. We're gonna take this whole path and just hope that the last the last one isn't all the way at the end, which chances are it will be. You know, I don't Are you kidding? It's right here? Did we just walk by it before? I think we just walked by it. How is that possible? Oh, because I'm me. That's why. This might be a quick quest. Let's hope. Watch the last one's going to be all the way in the end, and I'll just curse myself. Oh, I scouted. Is that what happened? And again, Coco, I appreciate you being here. Welcome in. Welcome in. Brave, brave, so what to miss? <laughs> what is this? I don't trust it. It's a trap. You were supposed to do something about it. Oh. Will find so no two damage for three rounds. Place. Yes, I, I took the anti-venom for this reason. Let's use it. No worries, no worries. Miss Helion. We knew that there would be some some fungus among us that we weren't worried about. Let us continue. Oh god. Fire? Shovel. Nature herself, a victim to the spreading corruption. Malformed with misintent. Gnarled limbs and spike branches block the path. Break them down. So scouting has a chance of occurring whenever a room is entered or certain curios are activated, making nearby unexplorable areas less risky to traverse. A high scouting chance can also cause party parts of the map that, to already be scouted at the start of an expedition. Love it. So it's totally all random. When danger reared its ugly head, he turned away and ran instead. Brave, brave, so <laughs> Did I ever tell you? I was, a. Uh, I worked with a guy a long time ago. I love him. He's, he's one of my, a good good friend of us. I, I was I was when I was working at the melting pot, and uh, my brothers and I we go to the Renaissance Fair every year. And at the Renaissance Fair, uh, there was a bunch of actors, one of which always played Robin Hood. Whoa! Talk puppet to me, dude. Welcome in a huge raid. Of pup, uh, 20 people. Hello, Puppet Raid. Thank you guys so much for coming in. How was it, man? I'm sorry. <laughs> I missed it. I actually gave you a shout out earlier in my stream to have people come over to see you, Talk Puppet. I wanted, I wanted people to come over to see your 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 show while we were streaming. <laughs> so I actually gave you a shout out for your puppet show in the middle of the stream. But thank you so much for coming in. Um, 
how was it? How was the puppet? This is exactly the person I was mentioning before. Uh, talk puppet to me, a good friend of ours. Um, and every Saturday, he does a puppet show on his channel that's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> now we are here. Welcome in. How are you guys? Broderick Jones, welcome in. How was it? How was it? Roland Mulaney, welcome in. Nice to see you. If any of you guys have seen me in Talk Puppet stream, some of you guys may uh, recognize my name at Astra. Um, sometimes I chat over in Puppets. Um, I have been a buddy of his now for this entire year. I've been streaming, and uh, very much am lucky um, that I've stumbled across this <laughs> this beautiful man. MDJ, welcome in. Yeah, I know they are amazing. They're top tier, ten out of ten. Yeah, at Astra is me. Yeah. Yeah, I've been there. I'm pretty much always there for those. And most of his streams in themselves. But nice to meet you all. Welcome in. Yeah, so if anybody you don't know me, I go by Ad Asher. My name is Jimmy. I'm one of the two streamers here on Shake the Box. Um, we are very much variety streamers. Uh, we stream just about seven days a week. There's some links for us. Ah, dude, thank you so much for this raid. Um, right now we're playing some Darkest Dungeon. Um, Chris is going to be taking over the stream after I'm done, so if you have some time, you want to stick around uh, for some chill streams. He's doing a Whisper stream after this. Um, we're just crushing through some dungeon crawls uh, in this game. For those of you who don't know it, it's a turn-based, roguelike, um, very aggressive, dangerous, and stressful, uh, but wonderful game. Thank you so much, Faranon, with those bits. To me. Yeah, man. All the bits. <laughs> Thank you, dude. Thank you so much, Puppet. Um, any any news on Lord of Chat? What's going on with that? <laughs> but yeah, we always have something going on. We're always playing something different. Always have a new new game being played. The quest is over! We can't just go out like this. So somehow, some weird miraculous way, we've already completed the quest. I imagine it would be in our best interest at this point because we spent so much money on our goods to make some of that money back? I I I don't even know. There's a there's a charming replacement. It reminds me of Hugh Grant. Oh, I can't wait to meet him. I will definitely be watching that VOD, uh, Andy. Uh, my apologies for missing tonight, but <laughs> this is what ended up happening. Um we play D and D here every Saturday on Shake the Box, um, but today's game um, was postponed, um, so we're playing next week. But I didn't stream this morning. Instead, I just got a bunch of fun stuff done because I was like, "Oh my god, I have a Saturday and it's beautiful out." So I also live in New York, um, so I wanted to spend the day and enjoy it. And then uh, here I am now, <laughs> along with Glenn. He was your favorite. But yeah, guys, uh, stay a while and listen. Feel free to throw us a, uh, a follow. So there's always something going on here on Shake the Box. We'd be happy to have you. Part of the family. He's so dang charming. What's his name? What is this What is this replacement's name? Glenn murdered Lord of Chat? Say what? What should I do? Should I just abandon or should I mean am I wrong in s suggesting that maybe I just push on? I mean everybody's low stress, everybody's high health. I feel like I'm going to shoot myself in the foot here, but I'd rather like farm for some some items. I mean, I'm done with the freaking quest. Maybe I'll get lucky and I'll find something good, but I guess as soon as we start getting into a position that we're leaving slightly nervous and we'll just bail. We won't we won't we won't we won't play it risky? I, I don't know what to do here. Uh, let's just not... With the spider web. Because I don't know what to do to get rid of that spider web. There's a trap here. Okay. Uh, two, for th two damage per round for three rounds. I'm going to throw on an anti-venom here. So then she doesn't have to worry about getting any, any uh, more damage taken. Any more stress. Keep moving on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just came in with everybody. Coco, get the loot. Right? All right, cool. Are you talking about the loot from behind the spider web or Niles? What a good name. <gasps> Niles. She clicked the map. You got it, sir. 
Niles! You scouted earlier. So there's a... Yes, yeah, so we know there's a curio at least. Oh, is that the loot you're referring to, hey? I really like this game. So, for those of you who have not seen this game before, um, this has been out for quite a while. It just so happens to be that, for whatever reason, uh, this is easily... Like, the, basically, I would say this is one of, if not my favorite game that I played in 2020. Um, it's not a 2020 release game, but I just never came my way. And I jumped into it, and I just fell in love with it. Now I'm kind of leaning for, you know, the end of 2020, now that we're in 2021. I ended up checking out another game called Gordon Quest at the end of the year. That kind of is up there with it. But I mean, I had, I had a lot of fun. We played a lot of new games in 2020 that I, I cherish. Um, but this one just does something special. A uh, tree has a huge hole in its trunk. Perhaps there's something inside. I don't really know what else to throw in there, so let's just take a peek. Gold. And herbs. Alright, well, nothing bad happened, so that's good. Oh, no! I didn't see it! Mind that such missteps are the exception. You know, which is weird because we saw it on the map, but I didn't see it on the ground. Well, maybe I just didn't see it personally. Uh, two damage for three rounds. So I have another one of those. Let's get rid of that. I have another anti-venom. Again, I, I purchased them, so I might as well use them. Oh, yes. Thank you for reminding me. All right. So before before you guys came in, <laughs> we were singing the Brave Brave Sir. Well, not we were. We Someone mentioned the Brave Brave Sir Robin song from Robin Hood Men in Tights. Uh, thank you for <laughs> reminding me, Veridon. Um... I had a guy who I work with at the Melting Pot, um, who, his girlfriend also worked at the Renaissance Fair, <laughs> and, uh, so happened to be that he found out that after she broke up with him, the reason why she broke up with him was because she started dating Robin Hood, <laughs> but she wouldn't tell our, my friend what his real name was, so he, he can only, he can only tell people <laughs> that his ex-girlfriend left him. For for Robin Hood, so the night the night that he told me the story, and of course he had to tell me because I go to the Renaissance Fair every year. He came into the office to like give me his his checkout uh, to get out of the restaurant, and on the computer I had the Brave Brave Sir Robin song playing, and it it crushed his soul. He, it was funny. We were all laughing about it, but he was like, "Dude, too soon, too soon." <laughs> What's up, Odin? It's Chris. Uh, Spleen Machine, by the way, everyone who just got in, uh, Chris is a Spleen Machine. He is the other streamer on this channel. My homeboy, for life. The Glen Fair, dude, your, your Ren Fair, Glen Fair, Talk Puppet to Me, uh, did a puppet show that they went to the Renaissance Fair, all the puppets. Again, guys, do yourselves a favor. If you don't follow Talk Puppet to Me, you're missing out. Um, definitely check out that, that puppet show on Saturdays. But, uh, <laughs> that, that episode is probably still my favorite one. Puppet. I, it, it, it just, it did something special. It really did. Lou, what's up? Odin, how are you? Happy New Year to everybody, by the way. Um, also, who just, who I haven't said it to, who might just be joining us. Um, and then anyone who doesn't know, Chris is going to be taking over a little bit later for the Whisper stream. Odin, you're still alive, by the way. All right, so let's get a stun in on one of these guys. So he's got 50% stun resistance. Uh, got a little stun action in. Nice, nice. Good start. Nice, that's what we needed, it's a miss. Yeah, I know, right? That's one, I don't know either. I don't know, I don't know either. Um. I sort of want to start making these guys bleed. Uh, she's got a good chance for this. 120% base. I could break through and deal damage to only the front. Yeah, I'm going to go with the bleed, actually. I'm going to go with the bleed. I'm going to go with the bleed on the big chonker. Because I could just whittle him away that way and then worry about the other two guys in the back end. We're going to charge him up. Basically, now he just has more accuracy. I'm going to mark the a-hole on the back. We're going to try to kill him. He's marked for death now. Mm. 
What is that? Resistances. I could just stack bleed on him, but let's go for him now. He'll probably die from bleed. Now he's dead from bleed. Okay, uh, everyone's pretty good on health, health-wise. Uh, he's got a 50% stun resistance. So, I think I'm gonna go with a attack. And not only will that damage him, but it'll heal her. He's dead from the bleed, like we predicted. Unforgiving. Yeah, man, I, I'm... The only two mods uh, that I have installed on this game right now, because you can mod this game, which is incredible, um, is the Solaire from Dark Souls and Geralt. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna buff him up twice. Does this last indefinitely? One battle, nice. Oh no, no, that's bad. Uh, mark one battle. One battle. Everything is one battle. Wow. Okay, uh, so he is marked. He's got some extra damage now that he's marked dead. Good snipe, queen. Yes, queen. Thank you for the water. Dude, <laughs> I want to read that as your flannel, <laughs> your flannel breath. Stop doing this puppet show so late at night. It's 3 a.m. for you. <laughs> Alright, I guess we will stack on that bleed now. I mean, we might as well. Although, he's already got the bleed, but we can just keep stacking it. I feel like that's our best bet here. A a critical! Strike. Yo, on another level, Ponty, your character is ridiculously strong. We were going to not try to go for the stun. We don't need to heal. Actually, I should have healed. I should have healed, uh... Queen. All right, let's let's just kill him. Let's just see what all of this is about. A chop. Thirty damage. Word. That's the most. I think that's the most damage I've seen in this game. Holy crap, dude! What a build up. Minus one speed, move resistance. That's getting sold. Good deeds. She could use some healing, but we're not really worried about that right now. What is this? An altar dedicated to an unholy abomination. Perhaps great power lies in within. Of course, I don't have any any holy um, any holy water. Had I taken holy water, things would have been different. I don't think any of this is going to do anything for us. All right, I'll try to unlock it with a key. I don't know why I tried it. All right, uh, I'm good. If I had holy water, I would try that and possibly do something with it, but. Oh, this is the Curia. Oops. This is the Curia. It's purely decorative. Lame. Like to sleep hungover? Oh, damn. I I actually know that feeling. I have one... Uh, 4th of July in 20... In 2018, um, I was not in a good mental space, and the three days surrounding 4th of July, I slept for three days straight. The only thing I woke up for was to feed my cat. You know, I chilled with him. I fed my cat. You know, I peed. I don't even know if I ate. Barely, probably. I didn't do anything <laughs> for three days. It was so bad. Oh, I got a... Yeah, you've done that. Yeah, exactly. So that's what I'm saying. I know what it's like to have the uh, the, the grogginess, the <laughs> mind fuzz. I've been there. It's, yeah, I know, and that's a lever, level zero leper. When leper hits, he hits. We didn't even. We, also, not only is he level three, but we haven't upgraded any of his uh his stuff. I guess I'm not going to waste it two rounds here. I, it's, that's kind of risky to waste it two rounds. I'm going to go for a heal on the back end. I feel like we can do that. Oh, maybe I should have just stunned, huh? The stun is just too good. Yeah, I might as well... If I could stun, I just stun. 
because if I don't need the heals, it's just like, it's costing me. If I could have stunned that guy, it healed her for six, but these guys both took five and six damage, so it's not even really worth it, you know? I can break through and hit all three of them. That's what I'm, I think I'm gonna go for that. Damn! 10 damage. She's so good. I'm gonna buckshot these fools. Concentrating on the front guy. Of course, she crits on the back end. Pour one out for Dash's homies. Thank you. Yeah, um. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am doing okay now. If that's what you're asking. I think, yeah, we're all helping each other out, Electric. Uh. Let's just kill them. Let's just buckshot him again. Thank you for asking. Um, yeah, uh, for da Dash's homies, uh, for those of you who don't know, my lovely Kitty, the Sheen, passed away in September last year, but we like to keep that in there. For anyone who has animals at home, just take a moment for for his homies. Uh, yeah, for the sky, baby. Give your pet some extra love in his honor. Um, some pets, some scratches, some boops, some treats. Yo, these guys are crushing it right now. What a squad. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm you know, it, it is one of those things that just, I was not in a, in a good headspace, but you know, it, it's, it happens so to people. And, and I understand that. And I did, I took or the steps necessary to understand it and work light. through it and accept it. And you know, all the steps. Queen, you see what you're doing over here, Queen? Your character is really good. But thanks for stopping in, Queen. You have yourself a really good day. Exactly. Same for us. Um, Chris and I stand strongly by mental health um, and how important it is. And I, I am with you for that. If anyone needs a personal to talk to you, your door is open. Thank you, Electric. Yeah, back at you and back at everybody. And I think, I, you know, we can safely vouch for that. That we are there. Grave. Let's, let's, uh, let's dig it up. Yes! This is what we needed! Otherworldly corruption. Give me that sweet, sweet coins. Um, unfortunately, in the States, uh, mental health isn't something that's often talked about. It's often scoffed at. Overlooked, um, not readily available uh, for help, and we want to be there for each other. If anyone's having problems, you know, it's all we can do is help lift each other up, and be the support. You know, I definitely have my days here and there, but don't we all? I should better put on some torches. This is, I'm getting a little frightened here. 78, one more, for good measure. The light, the promise of safety. Good timing. Oh, I'm surprised anyway. Oh, I surprised them. Yes. Tell me when I'm pushing too far, guys, because I feel like maybe I'm getting a little greedy now, but I can't help it. The multi-hit. Uh, she's still pretty good, so I'm actually gonna go for the stun on this. I'm gonna go for a stun on this back end here, because he's the one that might survive the onslaught of the Helion. Um, a buff up, just in case, which I probably don't need, and maybe I should be attacking, but we don't know. We're gonna break through with Helion, wipe them out. Such a good, such a good ability. For her to just bust through and then be able to get a swan off on the back end if there was somebody in the back end, it's pretty incredible. Hopefully she can get in here and buckshot them. And just wipe them out. Are they gonna stack bleed on us? No bleed. Um, I'll take it. I'll get a, I'll go for a heal. Here, so I don't have to worry about that. Hugh, kill him. With impunity. I'm gonna clap for you. I'm gonna clap for you, Wirt. You're a monster. So I hope you guys are all doing good tonight, though. 
And again, Electric, I really appreciate you saying what you said, man. I am I'm gonna actually take a quick restroom break, if you guys don't mind. That was a good fight. <clears throat> Go pee pee. <laughs> we got some mental health paladins in chat tonight. Hell yeah. No, it's so important though. Like it just I feel like it gets overlooked all the time. And and people, you know, it's like I definitely I love my family. <clears throat> my brothers and you know parents and stuff like that but i don't think that i grew up in a house that was super welcoming to to the thoughts of of mental struggle um but like i did have an outlet i could talk to them but it was just hard for people to comprehend but i had it much better than most and even then i felt nervous to to bring up things that were like i don't know just bothering me uh, mentally like I, it, it was it's shown as like a sign of weakness and it shouldn't be that way um and I, my heart goes out to the people who don't who don't have an outlet don't have a comfortable spot don't have people that they can trust don't have people that they feel like uh <clears throat> they're gonna be judged they're not gonna be judged by um you know bringing this stuff up and that's why I don't I don't mind talking about it because I don't want anyone to feel like they're going to be judged if they're having a bad day every day. <laughs> I believe it, Warrior. You're swole as fuck, dude. <laughs> we know it. 24 inch pythons. Oh, yeah. The word to miss. Uh. Uh, he's good on heals. I'm going to go for a stun on one of these fools. Come on, stun. That's what I'm talking about. Yo, this team is good. I'm going to mark back. Set, setting him up for death. We got our bleed up on the front end. Now, should I be clobbering with him now? Or should I... Because they're not really stacking on too many. They're not stacking on too many things. Yeah, he's resisting stuff already. I got to heal him is what I need to do. Um... Lead as I could push forward. I could only hit him in the front. I'm just gonna keep stacking on that bleed because it's just too good. All right, now I'll hit him. I'm gonna heal. Work. I don't have to worry about that. Not a, not that much damage, but enough. Um, I guess now I maybe I should consider chopping. I don't know if I'm gonna get a kill here, but let's. Yes. <laughs> Yo, so powerful. I was going to say, I was worried about not dealing enough damage because I was worried about not killing. Um, Because I didn't want to I didn't want to risk his health. Two, two attacks, two in a row? Are you kidding me? Uh, we're going to buckshot right now because we can get damage up in the front and definitely kill back target. That was nuts. Uh, let's, let's, let's not kill him. Let's bleed him. Um, just enough. Perfect. Because I wanted to heal. This is exactly what I wanted. Oh, critical heal. Yo, I'm taking this all the way to the end. <laughs> this this squad is so good. Chop him up, baby. Obliterated. Obliterated is right. Deeds, torches. Uh, strong box. I don't really need to do anything for the strong box. We already know most of our stuff doesn't work. Bleed skill chance. Let's, um... I think I have an idea here. What I'm going to do is take this... Ah, oh, crap. I can't put this out. Ah, oh, son of a... I wanted to take this... I... Mm -hmm. I don't have any room here. Ah, so much for that. Unless I could swap here. Let's see if this works. Let's see if this works. Can I swap this? I can. Haha. Uh, that. She's going to get this. Uh huh. He. She's. Is now. Going to take this off. Put this on. No, I can't have two. All right. Oh, well, there's. There's that answer. That was a lot of work. That's okay. No one else is really bleeding, so there's no reason to put that on two people. What did I just put on her then? 
move resistance and speed? Whatever. Uh, use a torch, Jimmy. Thank you for the reminder. How is your, um, how is your barbecue? I know I asked you, but I, I'm curious about maybe more some more information about your barbecue. Because I was a little jealous. <laughs> a journal. I don't ever really collect these journals. These dark caves strip with an... Oh, actually, I could talk as him. These dark caves strip with an overabundance of humidity. Beyond my threshold of comfort. I nearly broke my ankle on the rocks, made slick with some vigorous slime. The pools stir and slosh with no visible cause, and shadows beyond torchlight seem to grow and shrink of their own accord. <laughs> I don't really take these things. What am I even gonna do? What am I doing with these? They're just lore, right? But like, I know if you collect them, something happens, right? Is it you can collect all the journal pages? Like, is there anything worth giving up for that? I, 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 I highly doubt it. Unless I just eat four times. We can eat. Let's eat. You can eat. Sure, a little eat. We'll take a journal. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll actually escape with a journal page for once, so I can add it to my repertoire of funny items. Hunger. Go figure. Yo, I just ate, you fools. <laughs> How are you still hungry? You just got ravenous. This is one of those things when you smell food, you get hungry. That's what just happened. All right. I think this is going to be my last fight. I feel like this is going to be, this is going to get bad. I think maybe I got, oh, this is like where, where you feel, realize that you got greedy. This is where it happens. Uh, stun. We're going to. Power up, power up. I should probably do protection first. What am I, what am I doing? <laughs> if I'm gonna do both, let's protect first. My some psychopath I am. Uh, bleed resistance. Let's get her bled. Now she's dead. Yes, she's dead on her turn. Perfection. Okay, uh, mark back. We don't want that madness. We're gonna, we're gonna, we don't wanna deal with that. If you bring them back to the estate, they're saved. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And then, can you find them again? Like, once you find the journal pages, can you refine the same ones? It was me and you're younger, and some things got weird, mental space, and I learned that to eventually deal with it, but for a good couple of years, yeah, you're not talking about it. You're just dealing with it. Um, I was sad a lot and stuff, and occasionally stuff happened, and it makes me sad, and I regret not talking to someone. Well, you're talking to someone now, so don't regret it, man. It, 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 you're... Don't regret it because that was normal. What happened to you was more normal than it should be. And that, that's what that's what Electric Gamer and I were just talking about. It shouldn't be normal. Uh, I'm gonna go for a stun on him, so I don't have to. Oh, don't dodge it. But I'm happy that you're fine now. You know, but maybe one day you won't be. And the day that you're not fine, I want you to make sure that you can come to guys like Electric or me or any of us in this in this community. It seems to be everybody seems to be open. Years. I mean, I can't say everybody, but we seem to have a really, really positive community that wants to support each other. And I don't want you to feel like you can't. That's what's rad. Uh, I guess we can just start hitting them. They don't, they, they don't really have much bleed resistance, but I... It's still 20%. They have a good amount of hit points. Bleed? Did the, is, is it me or did the game volume just get lower? Did I do something? So what it, what you had, you had the sausages, you said? Chop, chop. Uh, I can probably go for, yeah, let's go for a chop, chop. Let's just annihilate somebody. That does so much damage. Uh, I'm gonna buckshot, hopefully kill front. No, not enough damage. Damn, I was hoping for more here. Uh, a hue will definitely kill front. No, you weren't supposed to miss. <laughs> All right, well, this will definitely kill front. <laughs> Jeez, three chances. Just trying to get somebody dead. Uh, I'm gonna go for a heal here. Hopefully it was worth it. Yes, it was. That was a good trade-off, kind of. 
Do it for another heal. Ten. I love her speed right now. And a kill. Let's just do let's just do the sidearm just for the fun of it. Because we never really do it. A little pistol shot. Nice. Good job. Sausages, jerk chicken. That's right. I, yeah, I remember you saying it. The jerk chicken was the one that I was like, oh my god, I need that. So here's already at the point that I'm just like, mm, should I take that journal page? But I need the money. I can um, I can rest. Why don't I? Why don't I rest? Oh no. I can rest right now. I haven't used that. I, there's no reason not to. And I'll take whatever's in there. Torch is fine. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. Mm, nah, I'm gonna leave the deeds. Uh, I will rest and then open chest, I think, because then I'll have the extra slot for whatever's inside there. I I would kindling. I would love jerk hope. chicken. We'll use all of that. So now we have two slots for items, the two spots for items. Heal companions, we don't need. All companions, speed, minus 15% stress. We want to do a lot of stress reduction. So then we don't have to take everybody to the, we don't have to worry about that. Self only, 30% stress. Damage, one companion minus 15 stress. Self only, all companions plus five stress. All companions. Suffer 20 hit points of damage, 20% damage. All companions, 20 stress. Wow, that's really good. Quarantine. What does she have? One companion, accuracy, and dodge. I'm definitely giving that to her. <laughs> Religious minus five stress, 15% stress, sorry. So, Let's let's math this. So one companion, reduce stress. We don't need the heals at all. Although we can heal. Wait, hold on. Heal twenty percent hit points. All companions, heal twenty percent hit points. Is there another one that's just a bunch of heals? So I can do this. I can quarantine all companions, reduce a bunch of stress. And then heal them back up again, and that'll be less expensive. What? How much is this? Three? And six? I'm not. I'm not opposed to that. Or I can do. How many do I have? One, two. For that two days. One, two days for that. And two days for that. That's all six days. I like it. So quarantine, but I really wanted to do this, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, the board games were like the best part. I want to check out that game that you had that posted. Yeah, one day I'm gonna make a good good jerk chicken. I I, I would love to to mess with that. I uh, me too, Otis. I didn't get it from Epic. I uh, I uh I know a lot of people who have. Welcome in, Otis. Um, it's so good. I've been loving this game. I'm happy you are as well. It would be crazy not to give him that accuracy. But like, it's only three to reduce all that stress. So let's go. Let's just do it. Screw it. You know what? I'm not even going to bother. I'm not even going to bother healing him back up 20% hit points because this is all companion 20%. But like, he's fine. I'll just heal him in the next round. He's fine. So, let's let's do this. We'll give him the dodge. One companion accuracy and dodge. So now he has the accuracy, which we need. And now let's just reduce stress. So, uh, reduce her stress. Uh, you reduce her stress. And then you reduce her stress. Uh, that was a perfect rest, I think. Three stress per rounds for two rounds. Can I get rid of this? What is this? Is there something I can use to get rid of that? Probably not. That's fine though. Rest. Nothing to fear here. Feel strong and powerful. Let's carry on. There's nothing for us to ow. I've run out of time. 
Already my stomach aches. We will not survive. Darkness closes in. Oh, we got the hearts of men. We got an ambush. And she was we never we never uh Oh good. That actually worked out. I was I was kind of mad because we didn't put her backwards, but she did it on her own. So tell me about your experiences here. I'm currently looking at getting maybe the DLCs. They're really cheap right now. I would say get all the DLCs. Um, the, the Musketeer is free. Crimson Court, Crystal One, and Shield Breaker. Yeah. You have the Musketeer one. Trial by Trolley, I've never played. Gear World, I've never played. Batman Board Game, I've never even heard of. I'm very jealous. I feel like I play like every freaking board game, and of course, none of those I've heard of. I'm excited that you've been playing them. I hope you had a good time. And what was the last one? That not, The last one that you played wasn't any of those. I can't wait for this pandemic to be over so I can start playing board games until 6.30 again. Because there is many a days that I have done that. Many a days. Color of Madness is quite good. I haven't messed with any of the DLCs really. Um, but I'm going to tell you that this game is so good... But even though I haven't messed with any of the DLCs, I can I can almost guarantee that if you already like this game, dude, I gave you accuracy. I gave it to you. You weren't supposed to miss. That was the point. Kill him. Will you do something? Thank you, Queen. <laughs> I can't be mad at you, Worth. Though you you do you're doing 30 damage a clip, so <laughs> I can't be mad. This is your chance. Let's heal him up. There's that six damage that we took on it on the uh, at the bonfire. What the? Why? Oh, she's because he's in front. So that's the purpose of the side arm. Because it's a better damage buff on front row. That's the purpose of the side arm right there. It's better damage on the front row. Than than the multi hit. Uh, with your family sigil, give it, give it to us. We need to gold, trinkets and baubles, holy water. In blood. Nothing spectacular there, but uh, whatever. I I feel like two curios. Let me carry on for those curios. This is probably the best. I mean, I'm gonna shoot myself in the foot by saying this, but I feel like this is the best, like, dungeon crawl I've had since playing this game. Honestly, this is this has just been spectacular. Wealth beyond measure. So I don't have enough. I need crests. So let's like. let's just get rid of the bandages, I guess. So we 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 need really we really want those items. We want crests. We want deeds. We want portraits. We said busts are not as important. Press deeds portraits. I'm gonna light up the room here. Um, I know. Why don't we get overconfident? Why? <laughs> uh, <laughs> cause it's a slow and insidious killer. Where the hell are those curios? You can lie to me. Move to this room for a battle. Bring it on. We can just bounce in the middle of it if we really don't want it. Something terrible happens in between now and that fight. Um, also, Otis, uh, my name is Jimmy. Sometimes I chat is at Astra. Chris is the other streamer on this channel. His name is Spleen Machine. And yes, I mean that because there's two streamers on Shake the Box. I am just one of the two. And we are going to continue our stream tonight after I'm done. He's picking up with a Whisper stream. And there's always something going on. Where was that battle? Oh, he's in the next. It's in this room right here. Uh, so th the musketeer is the same as the arbalist, I believe. Is a word on the street. Uh, these guys have minimal bleed resistance. They're kind of chunky. 
sort of want to get that multi hit in, but I think I'm going to go bleed on one of these back guys. So that, that's kind of scary. So he's got three per two rounds. I'm going to mark back end. I'll take him out, hopefully, the following round. Wish I could do more with these, these marks. Well, who's got stun resistance? 25%. Possibly either get a kill or a stun, but even if I just stun it with that Now it'll die in two rounds no matter what happens. So let's do the smart thing this time this time We're gonna prot first. We're gonna protect ourselves first and then we're gonna deal the opposite then we're gonna bolster ourselves So musketeer has less damage, but better heals <laughs> really I did not know I can make her an alternate healer I like Musketeer's aesthetic as well. I don't know, actually. Actually, maybe I kind of take that back. I really do love the way the Arborless looks. But I haven't really messed with enough of either one of them enough. So he's dead as soon as he goes. Now let's get bleed on this dude because he's also a chonker. Get that bleed in there. All right, so now this guy in the back is going to take some damage from the mark. Mark two rounds, so we'll hit him again as soon as we get a chance. Um, we can go for a heal here. I mean, he's pretty good. So instead, I think I'm gonna go for a stun. He's dead. He's got a really low stun resistance, so I'll get the I'll guarantee on the stun, so I don't have to worry about that damage. There's that bleed that we knew we were, ha we were dealing with. So now we'll buff him. So now when he goes, we're just going to mow people down. It, took, it takes him a little while to get going, but oh, hot damn. Is it worth it when it happens? That stun's gone. I think I'm going to go for a hue on this one. His bleed's already there. He's going to die from the hue, probably. Uh, so we can weaken them up. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna break through here because if I don't kill everybody, at least I'll I'll weaken the hell out of them. Um I'll go for a heal. Cause he's about to throw down the hammer. Hopefully it was worth it. Mmm. I wasn't gonna attack him anyway, so you know what? Whatever. Aim shot on the back, kill him. Whoa! 15 damage! Holy smokes. He's throwing down the hammer. Pretty good for multi-target. I'm not gonna complain about that. I wish it was more, but you know, that was pretty damn good. I might be able to get another heal off on, on him, actually. Um, I'm gonna try to get a heal off. I actually didn't mean to do that. I wanted to attack the thing on the ground. These nightmarish creatures shovel. can be felled. They can be beaten. Oh, I don't have any more room for shovel, huh? I guess I'll pass on shovel. Cause there's really nothing else I want to get rid of. I guess I can get rid of bus for shovel, but I don't really know if I need the shovel. Um, I don't have any more food here, buddy. I'm getting a little nervous. We I fifteen. We said we might leave after this fight, but we only have one more room. Let's just go for a hondo clear. Spider web. The key. We don't know what it does. We just open it. Oh, it seems risky. Risky. Uh-oh, what the hell is that? Oh, no, I'm getting a quirk at the end of this. Wasn't worth it. All right, we got a little bit of a mix-up here. Um, I think she's still fine back there, to be quite honest with you. Mark on back end. This is going to be a tough fight, actually. Got to get that heal in. Don't die. Yes! We're going to get that protection in. Otis, yeah, sleep well. Thank you so much for coming by. Yeah, feel free to throw us a follow. Like I said, we're, we're streaming about seven days a week. There'll be something fun going on. Love to see you again. 
But I appreciate you stopping in. Yeah, I know. You said leave now, and here I went on ahead. Like a dingus, but I can't help myself. Get that heal. Come on. No one died, zombie. We did it. We had a really good run today. We almost lost Varanon. Also, hi, Moth. We almost lost Varanon, but somehow survived. Man, I should have just went for a stun, huh? I, can't, I feel like I've said that before. Come on, hit. 10 damage. Good job. This is a good chance for a breakthrough, but I can't do it because I'm in the front. So instead, I might just go for big hits here. Yeah, 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 that works. Ow! We'll uh, clear the floor here. Oh no, we haven't even bolstered him yet. Oh, crap, we need to do this. All right, here's your chance, buddy. Start laying in some damage. Ooh, piece of candy. Dude, I've been waiting for that because um, Bob, who sometimes hangs out in chat, gifted me a toffee crisp yesterday and I've been dying to eat this thing. Somehow I've had the willpower to resist opening this yesterday and today. And I've been waiting. I've been waiting. The other candy that I had before when, when Ponty redeemed it was a, um, was like a dark chocolate thing, but I would just, I also needed that. This thing is really crumbly. Holy crow. Mm-hmm. Thank you. <laughs> Heal. Big heals. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Uh, Buckshot. Wipe these guys out. Even though he was marked, but... I just wanted to kill. 10 damage. Not the guy I, wa I would have wanted to keep to the end. Oh no, he can't even hit anybody. No, no. Clearing bodies. Come on, you got this. Um. Damage mod 25. It's done. Probably should have just killed him, but just as well. Oh, here we go. There's a, there's a kill. Are you missed? You fool! At least the stun wears off. Pulling it out. With the side. I think I can hit him with pretty much anything. Aim shot. Let's kill him. Raise it, baby! <laughs> this expedition at least promises success. Okay, so we want to get rid of the portrait. I mean, for the bus for the portrait. We don't need that. Uh, we're just gonna... What happens here? Oh, God. Secret rooms. Critical scouting success sometimes reveals a secret room. Advance to the tile mark with the star and press W. What? Or click to enter. Fabulous wealth and riches with a key. What? Look at that. There's nothing this way? So what do we, can we go here? I'm nervous. This is, now I'm nervous. <laughs> we have items that we need here help with. Ah! Why is she getting taken down? Why is she taking damage? She have a bleed on? Don't touch anything. <laughs> Don't touch anything. You have a key. I have one key and should be in, in here. Hunger? Oh god, I don't have hunger! Oh no! Ah! 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 Where is this- where is this chest? Where is the secret? What is happening? It said it was a secret in here. What is this lie? A secret door? What? Where is the secret? What is happening? What am I supposed to do? As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted and purpose is made clear. What the hell is happening? Did I pass it? I'm I'm like I'm right there. I am looking at the map, man. <laughs> Oh, 
What? I just had to press W. There was nothing to click. I just had to press W. It was very confusing. Oh, tile with the star. Got it, got it, got it. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh my god, I needed this. I needed this so badly. Bye. Uh... I guess this is when we get rid of our torches, right? I mean... Just get rid of... We're leaving, so... Let's bounce. We've done it. We've done it. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Thank you for the lurk, Moth. Moth. You're, you're a goat, dude. Get out. Run away. <sighs> Good fortune and hard work. Cheap, cheap trick with these is to extinguish your torch just before you open the chest. Increases your loot. Oh, duh. That would have been... Wait, you can just extinguish your torch on it on your own? <laughs> so much gold! <laughs> oh my god, we got so much gold. We needed that so bad. Remember when we came in here, we were like, we gotta grind for gold? So she gets a freaking cork, which sucks. I shouldn't have touched those spider webs. Plus 20% stress versus unholy. Ponty, you killed it! Wart, you're a madman. Uh, Moo? Killing it, Bondamom. And, and Queen, who was in here before. But... Zuli.